This is the big TTS lathe, a simultaneous multitasking machine with up to four turrets. Now, it's got a five inch through bar capacity and a 20 inch turning capacity. And guess what? You can automate it. So we're here at Spinner's headquarters in Sauerlach, just outside of Munich in Germany. And I'm here with Axel Spinner himself to tell us more about the TTS range. Thank you for doing this video, Axel. Hello, Lindsay. Nice Hello. to meet you. Right, okay, Axel, this is the back to basics. This is the build of the TTS range. So tell me more about this. Yes, you, for a machine in this scale, very big machine, very heavy duty, lace, you need a solid machine base. It's a fully casting machine base, at least already around 15 tons with big ball screws, big linear guides. You see the total height of only the machine body is already nearly my, my tallness. Yeah, huh? your height. So um, it's uh, necessary to have such a rigid base to get the performance at the end out of the machine. Right, this is back to basics, but let's go up a level and see more additional components and see the setups that you can have on this machine. Yes. Axel, this is becoming clearer now when you see everything put together. You can see the configuration of this machine. Yes, here you see the next status of assembly. Uh, the machine is nearly semi-finished. You have two spindles in that configuration. You can have a, a main spindle with very big bar capacity or big chucking dimension. You can have a sub-spindle or a tailstock as alternative. You can have two turrets, three turrets, four turrets, depending. Uh, you can uh, even have a um, steady rest instead of the lower turret. So to replace the turret by a steady rest and the steady rest can move in two axes like the cross slide of the turret and can move in a parking position underneath the main spindle out of the chip flow. You can see better here also the, the 90 degrees land bed design, uh, fully covered of course, and which gives the optimum uh, chip flow down to the chip conveyor. Why do you need so many options? Okay, it depends a lot uh, on the specification the customer needs. Some people are happy with one turret and make a universal application for small batches. Some are in a serial production of shaft types, of, of chucking uh, operations. So they want three or four turrets. Some people need a steady rest to support a long shaft type part and follow with the steady along the shaft part. So we have to offer a lot of uh, options. And the components of the machine, is this produced totally in-house by Spinner? Yes, that's very typical for us. We produce on all our machines all the key components by ourselves. Let's say the spindles, built-in motor spindles of very modern design are all built here in our factory, as well as the turrets. You see these heavy-duty turrets uh, we built also in-house. It's all our design. We are full responsible for the full product. We don't never point on any other suppliers, uh, this is not our spindle or not our turret. It's all our responsibility and fully designed and produced here in our headquarter in Munich, Germany. Is that a success with your customers? Yes, of course. The reliability of the machine uh, gets much better. Uh, he can rely that we take care of everything, all components. Uh, we have spare parts on stock for all the components uh, for ma machines which are already 20 years in the field, for example. So uh, if we would source out these components and buy in, uh, we would always depend on these suppliers. Maybe they disappear in 10 years and, and we have to stay responsible for the complete machine. So whatever we do ourselves, we have in our own hands for the next 20, 30 years. Right, let's see the finished product. Yes. Thank you. Dominic, I've never seen automation in a setup like this ever before. Okay, here yeah, we have a big robot on top of a um, rack and we have four pellets inside. So we have a small footprint and you can load four pellets for a lot of material storage in the system. And so why when this is back, because it does move forward, but why when this is back, does uh, someone need this? Yeah, this is back because if you need to set up the tools, the chucks, it's very easy. You have a good access to the machine. And if you need a robot, you just take the sheet metal cover, put it out and then the robot gets access to the machine. This is so cool and so easy. Yes, very easy, very light, yeah. And so small footprint, as you've just said, but where do the components then go when they're being... And that's on the back side. Come with me. So on the back, you can open a door 
and you can use a forklifter to store up to four pallets in the system. And it's possible to load shafts mm -hmm. and also blanks in the system. So Dominic, what are the main advantages of having this system on this machine? So the biggest advantage of the system is the small footprint. Four pallets on this small footprint is unique. And then we have a flexible robot, easy to program for the operator. And because we are spinner automation, we are one company. So machine and automation works perfect together. Mm -hmm.